Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, yet another episode of Transport Fever 2 Megalomania. Now we're down to one last town on the map that needs to be connected to the passenger rail network and that's Pembroke Pines where we're sitting right now. Now I've been uh, looking at this and I'm not sure exactly how I want to connect this up. You know it's a uh, it's kind of awkwardly placed. Uh, everything goes around it. Now, uh, I don't think up here is uh, a good connection point. Uh, I was thinking possibly uh, linking through Winston-Salem and uh, coming over and linking with Albuquerque. And I think that's what I'm actually going to do. Uh, but that leaves a problem, and that is exactly how am I going to connect out of uh, Winston-Salem. And I'm thinking, I, I really, uh, I need to come out this way, I think. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to set up... Uh, well, what am I going to set up here? I, I, how am I going to get it out here? I don't want to mess with this uh, through thing here. And we got this tunnel right here. So I'm thinking if I add an extra platform width here, because I'm going to need to extend the platform this way, and I can put the track over here. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll configure the uh, station. We'll go with platforms. Can't, and I can't put a platform there, but I can put one here. And we can get it in nice and uh, cliff-like. Uh, now, I don't know that that's quite what I, what I really want, but it's what I'm going to do. Uh, wait, no, no, I don't need to go quite that far. I can move this. So if I remove this uh, platform uh, and if I remove this I can extend the platform back here. Uh, tracks uh, Well, what I'm good actually uh, no I'm going to I'm going to remove this and uh, I'm gonna bring the platform back that way I think uh, yeah and then if I put another platform here and I put a stairs here and here uh, and I put an access point here yeah I got a uh, tendril okay uh, and then I can put a track here and one two three four yeah Oh, I can just line everything up. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to put a track here. Uh, you know, I'm going to put the track here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Then I can remove this. Right. And then I can put a platform here. And then I can put a medium building here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will work. Okay, so then I need one of these, one of these, one of these. Okay. This will get things working. Okay. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's what I wanted. Okay, now I need to get a track coming out of here. So we'll. Uh, what happens if we flatten it uh, and just come out level? Well, we can uh, swing around a corner and then come out. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then we can double track it in the tunnel. Yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, that will uh, that will work. Now I need to head over to Pembroke Pines, which is just about a straight shot now. Okay. Now, if we come around here, uh, level, uh, we can take the, uh, the weird, uh, dipsy do on the road there. Uh, right. Okay. Now, this gets us out past Winston-Salem. Uh, right. Now, where do I want to, well, I'm going to connect up to Albuquerque. So it doesn't really matter which side of Albuquerque I come around. I can uh, link into the uh, the station either way. So uh, which is going to be the convenient side? So the convenient side is going to be this side. Okay. Well, that's going to need a two-track station, which is going to situate right about here. You're sure about that? Yeah, 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 I am absolutely sure about that. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so, of course, everybody who's been watching knows exactly what's coming. We... Yep, that will work. And we'll uh, link that, put a Dewey... Yep, that's a Dewey, and we'll put a uh, whatchamacallit over here, and uh, tramify everything, because, you know, trams, right? Uh, okay, and then we'll go over here, and we'll buy... Yeah, we'll go with a San Diego electric trolley, just for, uh, for fun, and we'll buy one of those. And that's going to go on a new line that goes between here and here. And this is going to be uh, local Pembroke Pines Cross Town. Yes. Good. Yes. Now, we need to bring the track up that way. Uh, this uh, is not going to be a terribly complicated process. Uh, right. Now we got, as the colonel would put it, a cheeky tunnel pop up there if we go level. Or if we put a cut. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a cut on that. Yeah, okay. That looks okay. You know, if you're gonna go straight, just go straight. Yeah, but what if I don't wanna? You don't wanna go straight. No. You're sure about that now? Well, no. Okay, so that connects up. Okay, well, we'll just take that, of course. Because that wasn't too egregious. Now, we'll come along here. Make sure we don't get anything too egregious for these uh, level crossings. Uh, wang this around here. Uh, right. So this comes around here. And... Yep, that's uh, levelish. So, okay, so that gets us a connection there. Isn't that exciting? Now, uh, we're going to come around this side of the uh, iron mine here. So... So we have a, a good uh, approach 
to the uh, Albuquerque station. Right. So that means we're going to come up something like this. Um, of course, you could just, uh, you know, snap the tracks together. You know, I could. That would probably make them uh, work better. Uh, you think? Yeah, I kind of do sometimes. Now, what are we going to do here at Albuquerque? Well, I'm going to put a track on this side, I think. Uh, so we'll configure the station. We'll add a track over here. And... Now what are you going to do? Confuse everything. Yeah, if you're going to bulldoze stuff, you're definitely going to confuse everything. Uh, right. So you're going to uh, plumb this up to different platforms then. That is the general idea, yep. Uh, you, you know, you're going to have to... Uh, uh, fix that, right? Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, well, you've gone and done it then. Uh, right, so now I need to come out of here. Yeah. You're going to need to build tracks to do that, though. Yeah, I rather suspected that would be the case. Uh, f you know, funny enough. Where am I going toward that way? Yeah, that will do. And then double track that. Now, what do we get if we just wang this around? Uh, we wang it around and we get uh, something I think I can live with. Okay. Okay, so that is the final bit of track. Now, uh, you know, you need to plumb some signals onto this. Yeah, I rather suspected that would be the case. So what do you suppose I'm doing now? Well, it looks rather like you're plumbing some signals on. Whatever gave you that idea? Well, the signals that are appearing, possibly? Oh, so so uh, your your observational skills are functional then. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Okay, well, if you want to put yourself down, go for it. Well, why wouldn't I? It's almost vaguely, maybe sometimes entertaining. Oh, is that what you think it is? Okay, smart, smart ass. What do you think it is? I think it's tedious. Is it now? Well, we've got a uh, we got a track in here. Yeah, yeah, we rather do. Uh, you're gonna have trouble getting a train onto it though. You need a depot. Yeah, I rather suspected I might need one of those. Uh, oh, I suppose that's what you're doing now. Well, yeah. So now I can look at this and go, yep, yeah, that's okay. So we can go in here and buy a train. Now, we need a loco, and that's going to be the mogul, I guess. Uh, and we're going to put uh, a couple of clear stories on there. Uh, and... Do you need more than one train on this route? Well, it's going to link two lines, so I'm going to put two trains on it. Uh, I don't expect a lot of the passengers will get on or off in Pembroke Pines, but they could well be shortcutting across between the other two lines. So that's why I'm going to do this. So we'll, uh, we'll go this way, this way this way and this way okay and this is gonna be inner city rail Pembroke Pines Cross right 
So why are you calling it Pembroke Pines Cross? Because it's a crosslink and it goes through Pembroke Pines. Oh, well, that is uh, terribly exciting. Uh, why don't we uh, ride the train? Uh, we'll up the tempo and we'll take a ride on the train. Uh, this is uh, this is actually what I do to uh, look for egregious lumps and everything in the track, uh, especially at these level crossings. Uh, this actually doesn't look too bad. So here's Pembroke Pines. And then, uh, oh look, it's an animal. Or uh, an animal, if you prefer. Right. Okay, we're headed off for Albuquerque. And hopefully we don't make that wrong turn at Albuquerque, you know. Uh, funny enough, I actually did make a wrong turn at Albuquerque once. Uh, I was actually out on a road trip, you know, I didn't have any particular destination in mind, but I was uh, intending to come back up, up from uh, uh, New Mexico up the, uh, the eastern, uh, on the, up along the eastern slope of the Rockies. Uh, that would have been an Interstate 25. And Interstate 25 and Interstate 40 uh, converge at uh, Albuquerque, of all places. And as it happens, I ended up uh, passing some big rigs on approach to uh, Albuquerque. And I ended up uh, too far left to be able to take the exit for Interstate 25. So I really did make that wrong turn at Albuquerque. And uh, being the, uh, uh, you know, odd duck that I am, I thought, you know what? This is exciting. I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Uh, you know, and it's been a, a story ever since. You know, nothing particularly exciting. You know, I almost ran out of gas approaching Albuquerque, stopped, bought gas, got back on the road. Took a, a missed the exit and thought, you know what, I'll just keep on going. Ended up uh, cutting across the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. Uh, overnighted in a place called Dalhart, of all places. You know, uh, fun name that, Dalhart. Uh, and then almost ran out of gas uh, rolling into the uh, south side of Kansas City. You know, uh, no, not Kansas City, Dodge City, right. You know, Kansas City would have been a fun place to detour to, though. Uh, if I would have thought of it at the time, I might have done that, you know, come to think of it. But I didn't. But no, I rolled into the south side of Dodge City uh, on fumes. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, but that got me back on track, too. Because uh, coming out of Dodge City, you know, I could just head back over to I-25 and everything was good. Uh, but it looks like this uh, this track that uh, that's just been plumbed in is uh, okay. Yeah, we're past our start point, so now we're headed up to uh, Winston Salem, I think. Yeah, Winston Salem. Uh, so let's just see how egregious this uh, track split in the tunnel is. Okay, we're coming up on the tunnel. We've got the level crossing there is okay. And that just looks weird, but it will do. Uh, we're only going to see it when we're actually riding the train. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's tolerable. But uh, what I think might be a better choice here is to change it to a cut. So I'm going to pause things here. I'm going to uh, cut that out, and I'm going to change that to a cutting. Uh, so I'm going to need tracks. So we'll come around this way and do this. And then we'll come around this way and uh, do this. Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, so I'll put the signal back and uh, unpause. Yeah, I think that's probably that's probably better. Yeah, it's still a sharp approach. Uh, Boston. Oh, that's a. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got some we got some real uh, traffic going here uh, on these uh, these lines. Uh, well, I want to take a look at this one. Manage vehicles. We have eight vehicles on there, each with four. Uh, you know what? I'm going to edit these. These are, what are they? Yeah, they're clear stories. Okay, so we're going to add a car to each one. Okay, there we go. And is that a mogul? Yeah. Modify. Okay, that'll handle the traffic better. Now let's go take a look at this line. Uh, that one looks like it's got plenty of capacity. Okay. Okay, so I think, uh, realistically, this is basically done with passenger rail. Uh, there is uh, potential to uh, uh, continue this map with, uh, uh, with cargo, uh, but, you know, I, I'm not sure I want to. Uh, I could come back over here, and uh, this is where we started, around Long Beach. Uh, where uh let's see just see how long beach is doing you know we've got a few minutes here uh it's up to 828 well, that's not so bad uh we've maxed out the public transport destinations here so uh we can't really uh we can't really improve the growth here or have we maxed this out no we haven't destinations yeah we've come close uh, so we need what we need is uh, is uh, faster transport options before Long Beach can grow any further as we've just about maxed out cargo as well so we need to uh, improve um, uh, emissions uh, and that would uh, that would give us a uh, substantial uh, boost uh, this line yeah yeah uh, I think realistically here uh, we've done about as well as we can do there for the moment uh, right now over here this was our other starting town and we're not quite there yet here. Uh, but again, it's not doing too badly. Uh, so what we could could and could do is uh, plumb in some better uh, private transport options between the towns. Uh, that would uh, potentially improve growth. And uh, yeah. But, but it occurs to me that uh, the thing to do for a subsequent uh, set of uh, uh, installments here is to get as much of the uh, cargo linked up as we can. But that looks like it could be extremely tedious, uh, at least until the clock has run forward some. Uh, so... Uh, realistically, uh, I think this map is essentially done for the moment. Uh, so the next time I come back with Transport Fever 2, I'm going to come back with a different map and a different plan. Uh, you know, setting up the uh, a complete passenger network is laudable and everything, and it's it's a goal I rarely actually finish because I get bored. But here we go. Uh, if we uh, take a look on the towns list here, uh, town statistics, and if we search by, what is it, uh, public transport, uh, we've got none of them at zero. Uh, so all of them are connected by uh, public uh, transport. Uh, uh, what, 
where, where's the one we Pembroke Pines. Uh, so destinations. Uh, so we've got uh, some pretty good destination uh, linkage going on here, even in Pembroke Pines. So uh, yeah, uh, that has the network uh, completely connected, and I think uh, probably uh, we can't really do much better until airports come along. So. Uh, I think the only uh, reasonable thing to do is uh, leave this map for a bit and maybe come back when I feel like doing uh, cargo. Uh, now, if you want to see anything on here, uh, some uh, ride-alongs or what have you, or have some ideas and things I, I could do with this map, uh, let me know. Uh, it's actually playing pretty well still uh, without a lot of uh, lag. So, uh, considering it's a megalomaniac map, uh, that's, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, so, uh, ultimately, uh, I'm not sure exactly, uh, you know, what I'm going to do uh, with it if I come back to it. But if you have any ideas, hey, let me know. And next time on Transport Fever 2, it'll be a different map. Uh, now, with that, I'm going to leave it, uh, leave you here. And uh, see you back uh, uh, tomorrow, I think, is Surviving Mars. And then Wednesday, I think, is going to be uh, City Skylines. And uh, possibly, possibly Thursday, I'll be back with a different uh, uh, Transport Fever 2 map. And uh, Friday, uh, I think I'll do another installment of Ostriv. So that's this week. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's all for this time. Uh, see you back in another video.